We're heading out on another gold prospecting adventure. Appalachian Prospectors. Okay, so here we are, drying out our gold. And we're gonna melt this down and make some gold bars. Well, greetings everyone, Appalachian Prospectors here. I'm Prospector Jack and- Hillbilly John. And what are we doing here today, Hillbilly John? Well, we're on the river again here. Um, today we're gonna take some of our fine gold uh, that we've collected in our vials over the years and have it scattered around the house. And we're gonna make gold bars out of it with the quick kiln. Quick kiln. Yes. So we got the uh, quick kiln here. We got our little crucible, which we'll put our gold in. We got some Chapman flux, and uh, we're gonna try and first do a one ounce bar. And we pretty much got that somewhat measured out here. And uh, so we're gonna give that a go. So uh, stay tuned. We're gonna get this thing lit up, and we want to take this off. And set it aside for the moment till we get this thing lit up. And okay, let's get that in there. And you want that? Don't turn that one on yet. There, uh, we want to get this flame so we're. I can't see her too good, so she's just about a quarter of an inch in there. Okay, now you can turn that one on just a little bit. Okay, so what we need to do is uh, heat that up. Once that baby heats up, then we can crank the gas on We turn it all the way out. So, just to give you a look at what's going on inside of here. And then you want to make sure you got a pair of gloves and yeah. glasses on. Me and John both wear glasses, so we don't need safety glasses. But now we'll just stick this on there. here and kind of offset it so we can warm her up. Once she warms up, then we'll crank her wide open. Okay, so what we're going to want to do is uh, take some of this black Chapman Flux and put it in our crucible. So what we want to use for a uh, for one ounce is about oh roughly three quarters of a teaspoon. So got some measuring spoons here. Gonna measure out a half a teaspoon. Let's put it right in the crucible. Meanwhile, this is getting nice and hot and red inside. It's orange. Okay, so. There's half a teaspoon, and then we'll go a quarter. There we go. We'll seal that up for, for the next go around. And then you want to dump your gold right inside of there. Go ahead, help Billy, dump your gold in there. Okay, here goes my one ounce of gold. Okay, let's get the funnel over here. Make sure we don't spill one more. Much nicer. There. Get that one going. Crank that one up. And I just kind of set this up on here to warm that up a bit. Go ahead and do the honors. Okay, take the top roll. Yeah, just grab it from like this. You can do it like that too. Okay, set that aside there. Okay. Stick it right down inside, centered. Get that lid on there. There you go. I'll just 
Let's okay. Let that baby cook. Now we're letting her cook. Nothing like baking a little gold to make make you happy. <laughs> so, while that's cooking, we want to heat this mold up. Let me see this. Heat the mold up. About 15 minutes, so at about 1:30. Oh, I see he's cooking done. in there too. Oh, you hear it? Yeah, she's cooking. That's what she looks like down inside. Get cherry red. I'll show you. Crucible's getting warm right up there. It's hard to look down on it now when it's that hot. Oh yeah. Put so your just, eyebrows so right on. <laughs> and your mustache. Yeah, what you don't really see on here either is that flame comes up about that high out of the kiln, so you do want to be careful. We'll get this on here and start warming it up. Oh yeah, she's really, she's really getting cherry red there. Anyway, you know, as you gold prospect through the years, you collect vial after vial after vial of gold. And we had so many of them hanging around, we figured, you know, it's time, you know, you start losing them, misplacing them, and, you know, you might as well make a gold bar out of it. That way it's a lot easier to store somewhere and keep it safe. Oh, yeah, running. she's starting to liquefy. She's boiling. She's a burling. Okay, let's check the time. 119. Yeah, we may not want to keep it for 15 minutes in here, but hold my beer back. She is melting. That's good. Okay, so we're looking pretty liquefied in there. So we're going to attempt to pour. And uh, so what we're going to need to do is Take that mold off of there and set it over here. Good. Put that right there. Take that lid off. Set that right on over there. And then you can see that that little spout is over that way. So you want to grab her from the uh, gold bar sitting here in front of us right now and I'll tell you what looks mighty nice first gold bar that we and John uh, made out of our stuff out of our uh, leftover gold look pretty good John yeah it's looking good we're gonna uh, let it sit and cool a bit and so folks uh, there it is we made one gold bar out of all the the uh, tiny dust that we had and all the uh, leftover gold all the vials for three four five years and uh, made it into a one ounce gold bar. All we gotta do is beat the uh, slag off of slag it. Slag off of it, and uh, we'll take a look at it. Yeah, so uh, we'll let her cool a little bit more, and uh, we'll clean that off, and then show you what it looks like up close.
Okay, so we're going to do up another one here. Okay, so I'm going to dump my gold on the scale and see what I got here. I got a little bit under a half an ounce in this jar. Twelve point five. Twelve point five is what I got. That's just a little under a half ounce. All right, so you need a little bit more. Yeah, just to round it up. You got more to put in it? Nope, that's it. That's all I got. Okay, let's round you up. Tell me when you got it. Just a little more. Right there, good, good, good. So, All right, now you've got a half ounce. Yeah, it'll do a half ounce, and uh, we got, this mold here has one ounce, half ounce, and quarter. So, I'm gonna go with a half ounce bar here. So, what we're gonna do is fire this thing back up. And, uh, and just remember, everything's hot once you get it going, so. Yeah, it's hot, so. Everything's hot, so be careful. Get that baby going, turn it down. But the quip kiln does work really well. It does work nice. It works very, very nice. nice for just making gold bars up. What are we looking at? Good. Okay, you can light that one. This one's all the way up. Hopefully right. that's pretty well cool. How's that? Yep. She's a going. She's a going. Here, I'll pick that up. Okay, we'll put that on top, offset her. And uh, this here, since we're doing uh, a half an ounce, we'll just go with a half a teaspoon of the Chapman Flux. So, here we go. Teaspoon. Seal that baby up. Okay. I'll drop that big piece right in there so it don't jam the thing. Right. Thing I don't want that jamming around. Okay. If you could just dump that right in that funnel. How much? Much simpler. Better. Yeah. Much easier. Get her all. Yep. Good, good, good. A few little tiny specks in there. Okay, so what we're gonna do is let this baby get good and fired up. And we can turn her up. She's looking pretty red in there. Oops. She's a cooking man. Oh yeah, she's one. So we probably have more of this up here. <laughs> That's a little warm, folks. Don't try that at home. Well here, this is your this is your gold in your show. I don't okay. have to hold the prongs. Okay, it's looking pretty good. There for the moment. Everything's a little hot. Oh, I guess so. Okay, we'll get that baby on there. And we'll heat her up. It's very hot. Okay, so we're going to put this mold right back up on here to keep it warm. You're cooking already. Oh, yeah. And here, cooking. So today we made a one ounce bar and a half ounce bar out of all our leftover little gold. So we don't have to worry about losing it anymore. With the quick kill, which works very well.
while we're waiting for that, I just want to do a little plug for CMG, Checkmate Gaming. And uh, what that is, is if you're into gaming, it's uh, a cash prize tournament. So check them out. You can find them on uh, YouTube. It'll show you how on there to set up an account. And uh, you know, check it out. Checkmate Gaming. CMG. Right there. Set it right in front of Oh, yeah, set it, set it right back in there. Yeah. Well, that's burning the table. Yeah. Set up on the top one. Set up on this one. Hmm. You just set it on the side of it. Set it right here on the side of it. It'll stay. Yeah, we got the table on fire. There we go. Safety first, folks. Remember. Okay. And we do have a fire extinguisher on hand, just in case. So, here we go. And Jack has poured his gold bar. Half ounce. So here we go, little half ounce bar. Which, as you can see, the flux is all over it. She's a bit hot, still. But, uh, so we'll, we'll see. He's we'll got to go cool it off in the snow. And We'll break that flux off of there. I'm just going to put this over here to the side. And uh, I should be able to just kind of like drop that in the pan. Let's tap it with my knife a bit here. She's a little warm. So there you have it. Oh, Ooh, she's, she's hot. hot. There you go. She's not the best looking bar in the world, but it's a bar. It is a bar. Yep. So there you have it, folks. One ounce bar and a half ounce bar made with the quick kiln. Definitely does what it says. So, that's it. The quick kiln works great. And we each have us a nice nugget or a bar. I have a one ounce bar. I got me a half ounce. And uh, I'm pretty happy and pleased with the way this thing worked. It's our first time using it. And, uh, you know, we would definitely recommend it to anybody. Works great. So I guess we can close this video out, video out with saying uh, make sure you subscribe, follow us, click that like button, and uh, we'll see you on the river. See you next time.